Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's short video, I'm going to demonstrate a little known feature found in Lightroom Classic that I think some of you will find to be very useful. I'm also going to give you a bonus tip as well. Have you ever found yourself in the library module of Lightroom and you're bouncing around between different folders and different collections? For example, I'm in the library module now and I'm in a collection. Specifically, I'm in a collection that I've called Working Collection and in that collection, I have one image. And let's just pretend that I wanna use another application to replace the sky in it, but I have all my skies in Lightroom. So I need to go through my sky images and find one that will like match the scene, will fit, look correct in this image. So what I would do is I would go to the folder that contains those skies. So I'll scroll up my folders to my folders, click on the skies, and you can see I have a number of different sky folders. Let's just say I want to use the OccuDrone Cotton Candy Skies. So we'll click on that. And then I'm just going to click through the skies and see if there's one that I think might work in the image. And let's just say that, okay, well, maybe that one will work. So what I need to do then is to scroll back down to my working collection, click on that, and then try to imagine in my mind's eye if that will work. Then if I don't think it will work, I need to scroll back up to the Cotton Candy Sky folder again and then continue clicking through those and keep bouncing back and forth. Well, if you ever find yourself in the situation where you're bouncing back and forth between a number of different folders or collections or folders and collections, what you could do is make them a favorite and they'll be more easily accessed and you could access them a lot faster. For example, I'm in the Cotton Candy Sky OccuDrone folder right now. Let's make this a favorite folder. To do that, I'm just going to right click right on it and I'm going to click on make mark favorite. Okay, and you'll see it's got a little plus sign there. And that's just my favorite, a favorite folder. Then I'll go back down to my working collection. Now, let's say I need to access that other folder, that OccuDrone folder very quickly. Instead of scrolling to it again and trying to find it and clicking on it, all I need to do is go to this drop down right here. And in that, you'll see right in the mil middle, folder, OccuDrone, Cotton Candy Skies. I could just bounce right to that. Now, if I want to get back to my collection that I've been working with, I could scroll back down, or I could make this collection a favorite collection. Now, as far as collections are concerned, they're a little different than folders in that you just can't right-click on it and then go to a menu item that says Mark as Favorite. With collections to make them a favorite collection what you'll need to do is just go back to this drop down and then at the very bottom add to favorites when you do that now in this drop down you'll have the collection and the folder both as favorites so it's a little easier to bounce between those two items that is the folder and the collection you don't have to have a folder and a collection you could have you know, six folders is your favorite folders that you're bouncing around between, or maybe six different collections or a combination of either. So that is one way. And one thing you could do that I think might help you uh, when you're, you know, trying to find images for whatever reason. Now I made up this grand scenario where I was going to use a plugin to replace the sky in this image. <laughs> Here's the bonus tip. There's actually a better way. If you ever are in a situation where you're looking for a sky to put in an image, an easier way than what I just showed you. Now, what I just showed you is useful for whatever reason. And by the way, when you put things in that favorites area, they're available in every module. So it's in the develop module, map module, book module, slideshow module. So maybe you're gathering images together to print and you're going back and forth between different folders trying to decide what to do 
and you're in the print module or something, they're there. So you could bounce between them. So um, that is very convenient. But if you're ever in a situation where you need to look at two images, compare one image to another image. For example, you want to look at skies that you may put in a single image. What you could do, and what I recommend you do in that case, is while you're in the library module, go over here, see these little boxes one and two? Is click on two, long press on two with left mouse button, and then go down to loop locked. And when you do that, you'll get a second window with that image in it. You'll see you're in loop view and it's locked. Now it's not doing us much good right where it is because it's kind of covering up the image below it. But what we could do is we could make it smaller like that. So we could see it still move it over. Now I'll go to my favorites and I'll jump to that folder of skies. Now I have this image that I want to put the sky in, in the second window. And I could just click through here and see if I could find a sky that might work. So that's our bonus tip. If you're in that specific scenario where you need to look at one image while you're trying to find another image that matches it, that is what you could do very easily and quickly. And maybe I'll go to maybe an Akijo and Crystal Blue. Maybe that would work better. But either way, that's two tips for you on Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>